So here we go. Probably the most important thing I can make. Here it is for the roll bar. When you roll, this is where you're gonna get crushed. What you see there above that tape measure is what's going to get crushed with a roll bar. Without a roll bar, you're down to the uh, trunk. Simple as that. Can't stress that enough. So, let's add a roll bar to this Metro. Now to get to that line here, little piece of thing here, that's going to have, I can get rid of this, it's going to have, oh my tape measure is bold, that's right here, right here, that's going to put my bar, oh it's messy in here, right here, see this beam? And this beam, it's convenient. My bar is going to go right here, right at the top. And oh, it takes two freaking hands to open this top. There it goes. Okay, I had to loosen up my top to make sure this was tight. And there we go. But what's going to happen is it's going to go right here. And uh, I don't know my tape measure. Hmm. Good enough. Let's just shove that down in here. Represent a roll bar. Something like. You know what? Here. There we go. Something like that. Okay. Whatever. I'll turn on the light. There we go. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, and the roll bar is even back here, so it's further back. But let's go up. See? Sort of clear easy. Up, down, up, down, yada, yada. So, yeah, this roll bar being right here it won't be an issue. I can't show it to you right now, but I'll do it in the next clip. Anyway, I'm going to cut this right here. It's going to go down my main hoop. It's going to go down here. Okay? And then I'm going to tie into this right here, this little thing. I'm going to throw some gussets into this to strengthen it further but yeah that little thing right there down by the pinch weld yeah okay all right i'm gonna cut this thing from here to here from a headache bar and then uh get back to you okay uh roll bars links whatever uh a little expensive, but you'll, uh, it's worth it in the long run. They're only 15 bucks a piece. One and three quarter inch. What the heck was that? Oh, poplar. Dowels. I bought them at Menards because it was the closest home, de or closest home, whatever place near to me. Seven feet long. Usually they're fairly straight. They make great for fabrication or running links or whatever, but they're inch and uh, three quarters. So they cut they're, they cut easy as heck. Just gonna cut them on a chop saw. But yeah, that, some super glue and gloves, and you can make yourself a pretty mock up a roll bar easy enough to then move the thing and make it into a uh, make it into a cage and there's no question about it and you can get it in and out and in and out and you're not screwing around but yeah that's how I do them that's just you know roll bar yeah my bed's beat up the lady who had this truck before me used it as a uh, used it as a uh, garden truck so yeah it's had a hard life but yeah Get yourself some, uh, get yourself some poplar, dowels, seven feet long. Make your life a lot easier when you're doing stuff like this. Okay, let's cut it up. Okay, got my top bar in. Just held it in place with some tape, you know. 
It's enough to hold it there. Uh, once again, I'm going down here. And then see where that seat belt brace thing is? That's going to be my outside. All right. I'm going to go from there. Something like that. You got to notch it and trim it and everything still. All right. So yeah, here to here. Let's cut that up and get back to it. I'm going to cut it right here. Which is going to make sure I'm nowhere near this. So it's not going to rub in any way. And yet the seatbelt is still plenty usable. And maybe I'll put a piece of padding here eventually so it doesn't do this all tapping. But yeah. So yeah. Right about the height of this bracket is going to be my upright from the floor. It's going to go about like that ish away from the body okay as a side note you got this hole right here conveniently which could go back to your the top of your coil spring to brace it but I don't think I'm going to do that now because it's additional weight and yeah and then actually if you wanted to do that from there to the floor for a uh, door bar, but whatever. Uh, make it, this is just a driver. But yeah, next bar is up to here. That little seat belt bracket, the top of that seat belt bracket. Okay, after a couple attempts, I got it pretty dang close. It's not hitting here. It's close, but it's not hitting. Good down there. Nice gap right there. Up top's good. That one's good. Everything's just held in place by tape. I gotta glue it all together now. But it's about as high as I can go. It's not actually hitting the top. We got about a finger on top here. And like I'm saying, I don't want to move it. And if I need to, I can notch it just a little bit on the bottom here. I gotta add plates in the bottom. And uh, so if I have to take it down eighth of an inch, I can. Um, it's, I had to come in on this angle because I'll show it to you when I glue it. But I already glued the thing up pretty close though. All right, lay it down on its back and uh, glue it all up. Okay. We are, have the cage in place. Just showing you the X-brace here. I ain't doing it like that. I'm doing a normal X-brace. Trying to show you. Uh, it's not going to block the window, the back window, so I'll be able to look out the back window. This is just a commuter. I just want to just touch safer. Um, yeah. Pretty simple. As far as that goes. And yeah, it's going to come up here. The triangulation. And with that gusset, you know, gusset, 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 all the way down. Kind of around with the gussets. I like gussets. And gusseting to the door, of course. From here to here, just a couple gussets and tack welds. All the way down. Still just a touch wet. Everything's still drying. But yeah, I, and uh, I'll go back. It's dry enough. I can put up the top and throw it on the top and show you how it fits. Okay, here's the roll bar in the GeoMetro all installed. Roast down. Obviously, I'm making it out of steel. That's got to use this as a mock up. It's a lot easier to cut this and cut in steel 20 times. Um, so, yeah, there's the top. I have, oh, well, about two fingers here. Up top, I got like two fingers. I have a whole, whole hand between here and here. Uh, you know, lots of room there. I got that taped up. I don't want to move it right now, but my seatbelt's functional. Okay. Uh, pretty basic. Um, let's see the latch mechanism. When it goes up, 
this goes back. Oh, let's try that again. Now watch your fingers. All right, that goes up. That goes back, and it clears. One more time. Different angle. Clears oh, by a good inch. All right, so. I mean, here's the closest point right here, and I still have an inch. So if uh, the metal cage has just a bit of play, you know, I could have went just a touch more, but not worth it. Plenty of room. If I want to put some padding on these things, I could. If I ever wanted to, I'd see no reason to. If I ever wanted to, I could. Um, but yeah, boom. This is, uh, I, I'm i replacing the top, which is like, great time to do a roll cage, uh, or a roll bar, not a cage. Uh, cage is a pain in this car, uh, so yeah, cage ain't gonna happen. It's just a commuter. It's just me being just a bit more safe. Um, so yeah, see so how clear right here. Nice gap right there. So everything works. There you go, about Everything works. Nothing's going to hit. Already set. Worked out pretty good. I showed you the X-brace in the last part. So yeah, it's obviously going to get X-braced with steel. That was just kind of to show you. X-brace is going to go from this corner down to that corner. So it should go right about here. And I shouldn't have an issue. It should be like a V. And a V, so I should still have be able to look out most of my back window. Um, back to that bracing. There's this hole. I could go back to the uh, coil tower to this hole here. Uh, Seatbelt's in the way. Right there, that hole. I could go back to the coil tower and down. Like I said, a door bar. But if you put a door bar in here, it's going to be from here to there. And it's commuter, folks. I don't want a door bar here. That's it's not a commuter. Um, and then if you did want to, you'd have to go from here up to like here. Cutting a dash all apart and going up and yada yada. That could actually work, but screw that. It's a commuter. I just want something that if... Uh, if it gets to that point, I don't end up getting crushed. Simple as that. It's a 90s convertible. Just a good idea to have a functional roll bar. So yeah, I'm going to let that dry. And I'm already looking for people to build this thing. Yeah, it's a better view. Already looking for people. It doesn't. I showed you it's coming in between those two bars. That brace and that brace. So I don't see it like sagging anything or even if I get... Something heavy. It's not actually gonna hit. So or make any noise. How about that? Even if the top's super loose and the new top should tighten up. So yeah. Nice and easy. And it's gonna drop down lower because it don't have the thing in the back. But yeah, and then I'm going to take my three piece things and make a one piece cover. Uh yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with the cover yet, but there's my interior pieces I don't know what I'm doing with the interior at this point I just don't know the plastic is it's I don't know it's freaking 30 years old man uh so it, it's seen better days it's got scratches it just looks like crap so I don't know maybe I'll fill in these holes do a little body work and make them look make this look pretty back here I don't know what I'm gonna do at this point just doing the roll cage, getting that done. Everything's drying up, nice and dry. Stiffing up, and then I'll be able to bring that to a roll bar person that actually have it bent up. That's inch and three quarters. I don't think I've mentioned that. But yeah, simple.